Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cambodia Global Dialogue. Uh, as you all know, this year, 2012, Cambodia is sharing the ASEAN. And what I believe that is important is that, you know, as Cambodia move to be a regional actor in the ASEAN community, there is a great opportunity to attract foreign direct investment to come to this country. And the, today I have the pleasure to have a, a, a very good friend, uh, a former colleague, and he is something that is so knowledgeable about foreign direct investment. And here I have the pleasure to invite today His Excellency uh, uh, Senior Minister Sun Jantol, and I like to call you Bong Jantol. The uh, point, that yes. would be great. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome, Bong Jantol. Thank you very much for the opportunity to, to come on to your show yes. to talk about the investment yeah, the foreign direct investment to, to Cambodia. As you rightly said, uh, that you know, this year Cambodia will be the chairman of ASEAN. And the FDI is play a very important role in the development of our country. Yes. And our role at the CDC is to promote the investment to the country. Yes. The investment that create jobs yes. for our people. Yes. So I'm here to share with you yes. how we go about promoting yeah. the investment and also share with you what is our strength yes. in order to attract FDI to the country. Yes. Uh, well, uh, you know, for, for the audience, just, just to set the stage is that, you know, uh, Section C. Sun Jantol is the first Secretary General of the Cambodian Development Council, the CDC. He helped start the CDC. He was the one who drafted the investment law. Later on, he moved to become a minister of uh, public work and transport. So in terms of uh, building road infrastructure, very good at that. And in recent year, he, he become a, a senior uh, minister uh, in charge of investment. Um, but at the same time, I, I, in the context of ASEAN, I have to stress that he also carry another portfolio as the chair of the uh, social cultural uh, council, community council, community council in ASEAN. Mm -hmm. So he's one of the the three pillar, and he's the chair of one the pillar. The other political pillar is uh, His uh, Deputy Prime Minister Han Hong, and the second pillar, e economic community, ASEAN economic community, is a senior minister Chan Prasad. So we couldn't have a better speaker today to discuss about how Cambodia should, you know, position to attract foreign direct investment. So when you talk, uh, give me you know, a bit your vision, how you see the next couple of years, how we are able to attract, you know, uh, in what sector and uh, why people should come to Cambodia. Mm -hmm. First, uh, let me address the question why. Because yes. that, that when we go out to promote investment, yes. we go to different countries. Yes. You know, we go to China, we go to Hong Kong, we go to Korea, we go to Japan, yes. Malaysia, and so on and so forth, in order to attract the potential yes. investor to invest in our country. Yeah. So every time you go, you have yeah. to actually you have to sell, mm. sell Cambodia in yes. the sense that you must talk yes. about the strength of the country mm. because the investor had the opportunity to invest in another country. Yes, Cambodia is not the only country I agree. that can attract FDI. I agree. I agree. Other country around us also work very hard yes. to attract every investment dollar to the country. You mean competition? Competition is ferocious. Mm -hmm very very strong yes. so we have to you know be able to sell ourselves yes. also yes. and here are the reasons that I normally hmm. tell the potential investor the reason why they should come to Cambodia yes one the political stability hmm. is the key for it's any clear. investor yes. to invest in any country yes if a country is not stable politically mm -hmm. there's no one hmm. will put millions of dollars in yes. that country but Cambodia, yeah. we had a political stability. Yeah. So we have election every five years, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the ruling party yeah. will continue to dominate yeah. the political scene in Cambodia yeah. the next 10, 15, 20 years. So that we provide this stability yeah. to the investor. Particularly for, for long, big BOT projects exactly. that cost millions of dollars. It's long-term investment, even short-term investment. Yes. You had to provide a political stability. Yes. We do not want to put in money in, mm. and they had to move out of mm. the country of because okay. of the internal conflict in yes. the country. Yes. And if the government keep on changing, yes. 
it's also very hard to do business. Yeah, but I agree. Thanks to the strong leadership yes. of our prime minister, yeah. I'd be able to go out there mm. and convince yeah. the certainly that yeah. that for sure yes. our prime minister is the longest serving prime minister in Asia. Yeah election every five years yeah. from a communal election mm. to the national election yes. and the ruling party continue to dominate yeah. uh, like I said mm. we control over two-thirds yes, yes. the seat in National mm. Assembly okay. so there's no mm. political party or opposition party that can have a confident no confident vote yes. to get rid of this government exactly. only through yes. the general election every mm. five years that as a cabinet decision exactly you know I, I, I have to interject this a bit uh, that uh, the 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 IFC, the International Finance Corporation, yes. have done a survey of this sort of government private mm -hmm. sector yes. partnership consultation worldwide, right? And, mm -hmm. and in many countries. And Cambodia ranked number one in terms of government private sector consultation. Absolutely. That's unbelievable. Absolutely. And that's what I also uh, tell the potential investor yeah. during my roadshow. Yeah that IFC did a survey of 24 countries mm -hmm. around the world yes. that IFC helped, yes, 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 yeah, indeed, indeed. helped organize that private sector, government sector for, uh, forum. Yes. Cambodia ranked first yes. in terms of effectiveness, yes. in terms of productivity mm -hmm. of the, yes. the, the forum. Yes. So that pro-business yeah. government. Yeah. And you know, the accessibility yeah. to the government official. Exactly. Anybody can call me on my mobile. Yes. They can text me SMS. They yes. can send me an email. Yes. Try that with other government yeah, around the region. Right. It's you impossible. Tell me about that. Yeah. It's hard yeah. even to meet yes. the director general or yeah. the government official mm -hmm. in another country. Yeah. But in Cambodia, yeah. so, so easy. So accessibility is important because yeah. you can communicate, exactly. you can understand, you can discuss. You know, uh, in terms of uh, uh, sector. Where do you see the future source of growth where investors could uh, step in and yep. you know, invest there? Before I go to that sector, may I yeah. also yeah. give you other reason? Yes, okay. You know, okay because it's sure. important it's for, still, for still the investor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the okay. important yeah. need to know. Yeah. Uh, another reason is that Cambodian investment law mm. provides one of the most liberal investment incentives to investor. When I said, competitive yes. and liberal yeah. investment incentive. I'm talking about corporate income tax, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, 20%, yes. which is the lowest in the region. Mm -hmm. No import duties. Yes. No discrimination mm -hmm. between a foreign investor and yes. a local investor yes. because yes. in Cambodia there's no alien business law. Yes. So every economic sector mm. is open, open yeah. to all investors. Yeah. Tell me which country yes. in the world yes. that allow a foreigner to own 100% yes. banking license. Yes, exactly. 100% telecom sector. Yes, yes. But Cambodia, yes. very open, very liberal. Yeah. Why we do that? Because we need the resources, yeah. the financial resources. We need the technology, the yeah. know-how from mm -hmm. overseas mm -hmm. to come the into transfer. Cambodia yeah. for yeah. technology transfer, yeah. knowledge transfer to Cambodia. Mm -hmm. So investment incentive is yeah. very good. No exchange control. Mm. This is what I exactly. like the investor yeah. to yeah. really yeah. realize yeah. You're that. You're right, you're right. No exchange control whatsoever. What, what's the purpose of making money you cannot uh, transfer You can transfer out, right? money into the country. Yes. You can take it out. Yes. Yeah. There's no issue. Yes. Try it at the country. Yeah. You can transfer money in. But yeah. take it out so it's like difficult. Hotel California. Yeah, you can yeah, check in anytime you want, but you can very, never check out. Very difficult. <laughs> so that investment incentive is, is, is yes. very good, very competitive. Yes. One stop service. We talk about CDC, CIB, Cambodian mm. Investment Board. It's a one stop service. Mm. So the investor mm. don't have to go to different ministry. Yes. You have one stop service mm. where we provide you the information. Yes. We look at your application, we do the evaluation, we approve your project. Yeah, yeah. We help you with company registration, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the tax exemption, yeah. visa, work mm. permit also mm. at the CDC, we yes. can help yeah. the investor. Mm. In addition to that, in addition to in investment incentive, yeah, yeah. look at Cambodia, where mm. do we locate it? Mm. I said Cambodia Geographically is speaking. right. We are in the heart or center of gravity yeah. for Southeast Asia. Yeah. So the location is important. Yeah. Yeah, we have Thailand, big 70 million consumer. Seven you hour have, truck drive. Right. You have uh, on, yeah. on, on, yeah. on our east, yeah. we have 80, 90 million consumer. Yeah. 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 
but if we talk about one and a half hours yeah. flying time, yeah. we're over 500 million consumer yeah. 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 that you can serve. Yeah. In addition, Cambodia as a member of WTO, mm -hmm. and you, yeah. you play a major role yes. in bringing Cambodia to WTO, so we have access to the world market. Yes, indeed. To European market, mm. to the US market, and so on and so forth. And in addition to that, yeah. we receive GSP and MFN yes. for European country yeah, yes. from European country yeah. from the US mm. which mean that any goods that produced in Cambodia mm -hmm. can be shipped out yeah. export out to those country yeah. without paying duties yes. and that a major advantage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the investor yes, yeah. another competitive reason, uh, com advantage very competitive advantage yeah, yeah. investment protection yeah the investor want to make sure mm. that the investment is protected yes so our law yeah our law, yeah. our investment law, protect mm. investment already. Mm. But in addition, you have bilateral, bilateral agreement right. yes, yes. between Cambodia mm. and various countries mm. to protect each other yeah, yeah. investment. You have how many by? Uh, About 30 plus country now 30 that, plus that country, we yeah. sign. Yeah. And we continue to sign. Yes. Continue yes. to sign bilateral yeah. investment yeah. protection. Uh, yeah. protection. Yeah. Okay, agreement mm. between mm. those countries. Yeah. Now, Cambodia, in terms of labor, mm. We have abandoned labor force. Yeah, yeah. As you know, the age, the population is yeah, very yeah. young population. Yeah. Between 15 years old mm -hmm. and 64 years old with 62%. Mm -hmm. So our people, mm -hmm. very young, yeah. dynamic mm -hmm. workforce, mm -hmm. natural resources, plenty of natural resources yeah, in Cambodia. Yeah. Okay. So that's some of the key element, if you will, mm -hmm. or key reason yeah. for, for investor yeah. to consider Cambodia mm -hmm. as investment location. Mm -hmm. Infrastructure, yeah. as you can see, yeah. is significantly improved, improved. Yeah. dramatically, dramatically, yeah. dramatically yeah. Yeah. since yeah. 1998, yes. yeah. when Cambodia yeah. really have. Now I can a for piece. five, for three and a half hour, I can be in Batambang, the greenery of you Cambodia. Can, you can go anywhere, 24 hours a yes. day, exactly, safely, exactly, you know, yeah. smoothly. The, mm -hmm. the interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we upgrade our road. Yeah. We upgrade our deep sea port in Sinoville, mm -hmm. we expand mm -hmm. it. We build a new container port in Phnom Penh. In Phnom Penh, yes. Pn Phnom Penh, see our uh, airport, yes. Sinoville airport, same mm -hmm. airport, all international standard. And the railroad is coming Railroad, up. we upgrade, we rehabilitate our railway. Yes. Yes. That goods can be sh shipped mm -hmm. from Cambodia mm -hmm. to Thailand, mm -hmm. to Malaysia, to Singapore. That's the first stage. Yeah. Second stage, good. And people can yeah. travel from yes. by by rail, yeah. Singapore, yeah. Malaysia, Thailand, yeah. Cambodia, mm. Vietnam, China. So that what we call Singapore Kunming yeah. railing project. Yes. So infrastructure is good. Yeah. You know, infrastructure mm. is good. Power plant, mm. various hydro mm. power plant mm. being built. We 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 have uh, how many power hydro power being built now? What's a a few power plant being built right now? Yeah, Let's yeah. put it this way that. Yeah. We just open inaugurated yes. the smart premises yes. inaugurated hydro power plant in Kamchai one ninety three yes. megawatt. Mm. We have the uh, you know, at Atai yes. at yeah. and all yeah. so few thousand more. Yeah. Few thousand megawatt. Megawatt more. And in addition they sign the MOU yeah. to study mm. Additional four thousand megawatt. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of uh, mm. uh, electricity later on. So, so the price, the price will, come down. will come down. Will come down dramatically, and yeah. that will will help also yeah, yeah, reduce the, the cost yeah. of doing business yeah, in Cambodia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, which sector are we mm. promoting? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So we promoting labor intensive industry. Okay. So you see a lot of garment industry yes. make clothes. Or that sure. Labor intensive, yeah, yeah. create jobs mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. for Cambodian people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're looking to expand to mm. agro industry. Yes, you know yes. So that that a major sector for us. Mm. Tourism. Yeah, rubber. So, rubber. rubber. Is a, is the tourism big, sector yeah. is important. Mm. Yes. Infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. We promote the BOT. BOT. Yeah. Of the road, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a BOT of the airport. Yes. yes. And so on. Mm. We promote telecom sector. Yes. Yeah. yeah so that yeah. that's a sector that we are promoting, mm. and we see more and more right now. Mm. Of investment into agro industry, yes, it's indeed. important. The rice we, sector, for rice sector is yeah. important. Our yeah. prime minister already had uh, uh, announced the policy of exporting mm. one right. million tons of rice by mm. 2015. Yes, yes. It's important for us mm. to export 
rice rather yeah. than export rice paddy. Paddy, you're right, you're right. Because you can save. Yes, yes. You can save rice husk. Yes. If you do it here in Cambodia, yeah, you create energy. a job. Yeah, yeah. You create a job, mm. and also you market Cambodia, the mm. brand. You're right, you're right. This rice is produced in Cambodia, yes. for example. Yeah. That the brand name, mm -hmm. brand recognition that we yeah, need yeah. to build around and, the world. And, and thank you, Wang Yantong. Thank you so much for taking uh, your very busy time to come and share with us the perspective on why investors should come to Cambodia. So I want to say thank you so much. Thank for you very coming. much. Yes, yeah. for having me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Well, see ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have a glimpse on why people should come invest in Cambodia. But uh, don't forget that uh, as Cambodian, we also have to be mindful of all this opportunity. You know, like uh, His Excellency Sun Jinho said, our investment law is not only for foreign direct investor, our investment law is also for the Cambodian. Take the time to understand the investment law. If you're an Okya, if you're a businessman, go to CDC, uh, talk to them what you can benefit from them. Because I think a law is made also for us. We should take advantage of it. But the first thing you have to understand why. And today, you have the pleasure to hear all the why we should invest. Foreign investors should invest, but also the Cambodian should invest. And how we, the Cambodian, should get prepared so that we can be a good partner, a good counterpart, a good joint venture, uh, a good supplier, a good uh, sort of like uh, associate with foreign direct investor. So on that note, uh, I want to say thank you for watching the show. And once again, thank you to thank you. Uh, my big brother, Excellency Sun Chan Tol. And uh, once again, good luck for your you. promoting Cambodia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.